Hey guys, Nate G the Pigeon Lord here, and I'm gonna do another reading comments video. Now, when was the last time I did that? Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. Alright then, let's uh, let's start off by reading the comments in that video since uh, let me, let's just think about what I said last time real quick. Yep. I'm gonna check the uh, the video now. Alright, here it is. Let me look at the comments. Most of the comments are just... just shit posts. There's nothing really to be said about them, they're just shit posts. <sighs> nothing to say about that one. Alright, let's go to something newer. The first video I'm gonna look at for reading is, uh... I'm gonna look at, uh, the Philip... Uh, the Carnivore's Philip Hunter. This needs an Oscar. I would agree, Green. Look, let's look at uh, what uh, We Sell Clams has to say. What an emotional roller coaster. Indeed, quite an epic film it was. Yoda moment that I just had. Most ambitious film of the year, Jurassic One says. Alright. What's the next one I shall go to? <laughs> I shall go to the Carnivore's Triassic new theme. What's this comment? Ma che u Van Lizzie jump scares you. All my imaginary characters sing this crazy song. Video at the future. This is something that needs a lot of brain work to figure out. This man is speaking an ancient language that I cannot understand. Truly a high IQ language he is speaking. I have no hopes of understanding what he is saying. Quite scary what only, what one can imagine he's saying. Alright, next one I'll be looking at is from Saurian Target Dies. Ah yes, from Saurian Target himself. I've been waiting for a proper death scene. You you did get the proper death scene you deserved, although. The one thing I hate is that you privated your videos, so I'm going to have to say it one more time again, Saurian Target. I'm going to say the C word. You are indeed a, a cringe-ass nene baby. I know, I know. Very hard for many people for, for that to say, for me to say that. All of you are probably going to crucify me for what I said. Although I did spit straight facts though. Alright. Oh, from Marxism Leonism. Now he is not the final authority on all things carnivores. Indeed, he got whipped and ate the pawn. Alright. Next we'll be looking at Carnivores 2, Philip Hunter. There's absolutely nothing. Alright. The next one will be hunting the Washington's Eagle. Beautiful. Brought me to tears is what Blaze87 said. Truly, I'm a masterful artist when it comes to video making. Truly, only the highest quality of videos. Now, for the next one, I'm going to go to an earlier video. This one is called, uh, what is it? Oh yes, the video you weren't supposed to see, except I edit it in weird ways. Let's go. Stop abducting little Chinese boys for your own free labor, mate. Is what Blaze87 says again. 
Well, that isn't exactly what's happening in the video, but okay. <laughs> and this guy, well, Fortnite says, do you own a sweatshop? Okay, what is up with the common theme on this video and apparently being a sweatshop? I don't get it. I absolutely do not get it being a sweatshop. Now, for the final comments I'm going to read from, are from my video, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You know, I was gonna ask something, but no, I'll just sit here for the carnivore's vid. Yeah, he predicted it. Now he, oh, that was from Jurassic World. Next is from Dragon Cat. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand the Gen Z humor. Ah. Now, that is all, folks. Next week, I shall bring you, uh, I don't know, probably something related to, uh, Soaring Target. Now, if you mind, I'll be heading out now.